Hi, this is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. Today we're using the gel test software. We're on version 20.2.1.1. We're reconnecting to a 2000 FICT RAM 90 horsepower. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Go in here. You see special functions if you need to do one of those. That's a shortcut. We're going to select the cable. We're going to go into the total system. So here you see the cable at 609M or 609A, depending on what you're using. You're going to want to connect the battery to that port on the side. We'll go ahead and read default codes. So we have a bunch of non-active faults, but we also have a couple active faults up there at the top. You can see the air temperature sensor. So we'll go into that. You'll see we have the CB9A, which is that component, that sensor. And we'll click on that information to look at that sensor and see all the system components, all the measurements on that component. And we can also click on that little icon and go straight to the wiring diagram. And it'll show you where that component is found on the wiring diagram. You'll see it right there, shaded out. You can also click on that, and it'll pull up that same information we looked at with the measurements and all that information. Okay, so we'll go back out. We'll get the rest of those. Okay, so we'll go into the system data. It's just going to give you the ECU information. Let me pull that up real quick. We'll close out of that. We'll go into the operation data. That's going to where you find your total hours, your engine temps, your operating times, all that information. Next, we'll choose the monitoring. You'll see that live data selection. We'll click on that. And we'll accept. And you can either select all, which we're about to do, and then we'll click on that hourglass and see those measurements there. And we have three pages. Okay, so we'll click out of that. And then if you wanted to just see a couple of those, we'll go ahead and select a couple of the parameters to pull up. Okay, we'll go over here. We want to see those graphs, so we're going to select that icon. And here you can see those parameters being graphed out. Now at the bottom there, you can see... Uh, you can zoom in or zoom out, and then you can stop if you want to look at that closer in. You'll see that throttle, throttle valve going up. Okay, so we'll close out of that. I'm going to actuate components here. You'll have all your tests. We'll go ahead and into the injector and test an injector. And you'll have to turn on and off these injectors on this one. So we'll click on, you'll hear that injector. Do this little click thing, and then we'll go ahead and turn it off. Okay, so we'll go into system checks. You'll see that cylinder cutout. Engine won't have to be running to do that, obviously. Uh, your parameters, we'll go into display parameters. That'll show you your injectors. It'll show you the serial number, the coefficients, and the injector status. So we'll go ahead, that's number one. We'll go ahead and run through the other four, or other three, real quick. Okay, so we'll go back, modify parameters. That's where you're going to see that injector coding. So we'll go down here to the parameter setting. The system's going to ask you for your expert mode. You click that box, and then you want to hit accept. And you can see it on the bottom, bottom of the screen, right there on the left side. It says expert, so you know that's it. Okay, so the directions are going to pop up. It's going to give you that QR code. You're going to have to uh, have a QR scanner of some sort. Scan that code. You'll get that long, ridiculous number at the bottom. And then as you go through, you'll see the initial conditions. You hit the checkbox. You'll select your injector. And they, in this case, we'll do one. And I'll show you the settings that injector now you'll go to modify and then that long ridiculous code you're gonna to have to type in right there and that'll be your new value configuration once you do that it'll ask you if that's what you want to continue with you'll hit the check mark and then you're done you can work through the other injectors okay so you also see the maintenance and then we have the data recorder that's a little bit new um, that they've added recently and then on the top left hand side of the screen you'll see where that system technical data diagrams vessel service data and also technical data and the troubleshootings included. This is uh, on a 2000 FICT RAM 90 horsepower. This is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. Thanks for watching.